Tuesday Shop Talk, everybody. I got a chance to be out in the shop just for a little bit. Actually, on and off. We're still having rain bands coming around. Even though on the radar, you see it's like moved up out of the northeast Florida area. We're still in getting rain bands. Uh, rain. Uh, wind. It's a little bit more windy today than it was yesterday. But anyway, by the way, I did my Monday Shop Talk. If you didn't get a chance to watch it, you might want to watch it. I think it's pretty interesting. It was like 15 minutes long. The thing was, I did that at 2 o'clock yesterday. I uploaded at 3. And it did not upload till this morning around 8 o'clock. Yep, I kept watching. It was driving me nuts. I went ahead and uploaded my short videos. They went through okay. I don't know what happened. I mean, I've done 15 minute videos before and that's just never happened. It just drives me nuts. It's just, it takes forever to upload. So if you didn't get a chance to watch Monday Shop Talk, this is Tuesday Shop Talk now. You might be watching this tomorrow. Anyway, today, and I wanna thank Donnie B all day. Everybody knows him. I have to give him a shout out. He did, uh, I'm gonna get into, in fact, I need to go back on that video. Donnie, I'm gonna go back and look at your video there. He did uh, showing how to do uh, camo, tiger striping. Uh, however you want to call it. Camo, do the blade with uh, with the blue. I had some of this inside the house. So I'm going to do that. I need to check a look at his video. But I went ahead while I had this out in here. I went ahead and grabbed this because I wanted to. This is a Fleesa, okay? Very budget friendly, but that's a four inch blade, folks. And it was just shiny as can be. So I kind of blew that out. Okay, that's a couple of coats there, two coats. So I can do it a little bit darker if I want. But it has the uh, little arc light. See that? And uh, I have a little problem with my thumbs, thumb right now and opening thumb studs. It's just raw. It's kind of like when you clip your nails too short. But yeah, because I've done it be all day, I went ahead and did this. And I'm going to try. I'm going to pick out a knife to do uh, my own tiger striping like he did. It's a lot of fun. I love things like that. Then I took my, uh, so I'm gonna give him a shout out. Everybody knows him. I mean, he's got, you know, we're all his, we're subscribed to his channel. Uh, this is the Cobra Tech. This is the F3-3, I believe you call it. This is my first Cobra Tech. It's, it's an OTF. It's one of the best OTFs I've come across. I mean, unbelievable. This was a shiny satin double-edged dagger. So I blued it. How about that? Isn't that awesome? Okay, now that's, I might do an extra coat on there. Not quite sure. But I got rid of the, uh, see, look at that. Now that's tactical. Okay, before when I did this, okay, we're talking about all of a sudden there's a bling, you know, a mirror in your face. But yeah, this is what I'm talking about right here. And I, if I hadn't come across that video, you know, I, I watch these videos, I don't always comment, but I always throw a like, okay? And I watch it. View, it, view time counts and likes count. They really do. If you don't have time to comment, uh, they appreciate that. You know what I mean? I appreciate it. So Donnie, thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it. And I'm gonna check out your video again on the tiger stripe and you guys check it out. It's, uh, it looks like a lot of fun, okay? And I'm gonna take uh, one of my budget friendly knives and try it out first, you know what I mean? Okay, and this is what I did too today. I pulled this out. I did the carbon fiber video I wanted to. So check that out. Those are, I, I know when I go inside, um, when I go inside, I'm gonna find some more carbon fibers. I'm gonna go shoot, you know what I mean? But I just grabbed what I could. This weather's throwing me off. It's raining on and off. I'm outside with the dogs, blah, blah, blah. I'm ratchet jaw now. Anyway, I went down, when I was going through the drawers, I went down on my, I have another drawer. It's kind of like tactical knives. Yep. And this actually could be a collector's item right here, but it's one of those I use. I should retire it, but I love it. I can't help it. This is the SOA titanium assault knife. Uh, United Cutlery uh, put, put it out. Okay, it's it's the real deal. It has the special operations logo right there. Okay. And there you are. It has the uh, T-coated O6 steel. And check that out. Death waits in the dark. And there's your uh, SOA emblem right there. 
okay? I love the Micarta scales. It's that bevel thing. That's another thing I want to dive into to see if I can do that. I got a couple of uh, Topps knives, like the Impact. It's almost like a perfect the tread, you know, it's beveled. I love it. I want to get into that. I look at it, and it looks easy, but you never know till you try it. I think I can do it. That'll be my next project. But see, I'm showing you that's full tang. It is titanium coated. I threw it today. I've thrown this a lot, so look how that's wearing. It's wearing. It's wearing pretty good. I'm gonna do it up close and personal, just like this. It needs some sharpening right in there somewhere. I think that was from slicing bottles uh, a while back. Not too bad. I'll do a little stropping on it. But yeah, this feels great. It's balanced, has that thin profile. And when people say it's not Kydex, I'm going by the specs, okay? This is the real specs right here. It's molded Kydex with a high uh, power metal clip. So, you know, you can wear it any way you want. Uh, you can turn this around. Uh, you could probably do it side. Now you can't do it sideways. I think I tried that before. But yeah, that's a nice thin uh, profile, isn't it? Very tactical, non-glare. Okay, uh, I've got to go inside now. What am I going to do now? Oh yeah, maybe some domestic stuff. Uh, do an up close and personal thing. And this was a lot of fun today. Uh, it doesn't take long. I just, you, you do it, you leave it, and you go back and do it. But I want to get into the Tiger Stripe. And I'm going to have to go back and look at that video, like I said, on Donnie B all day. And uh, check it out. Make sure I pick out the right budget-friendly knife on first time. This was budget-friendly right here. And actually, this is 99 bucks. Can you believe that for an OTF? Yep. And... Like I said, I, I, this is probably the best OTF that I have. That I own. It's solid. Reliable. Okay, I don't want to go any further because it's going to take all day to load this up. Y'all stay safe. Uh, it was great to get out here. And uh, I can't paint on the house. I just can't paint on the house or work on the house. So uh, I'm having to work on some knives. Y'all take care and sog out need to fix this.